Hi, I'm Julian Lara. I'm a professional tropical fruit tree propagator here at Lara Farms. And today, we're going to talk about how to graft your own mango tree from start to finish. Now, what's the first thing you need to do to get started? you got to get yourself a mango tree like this. This is about 10 months old. It's a turpentine seedling. And uh, as you see, it has a lot of new tender growth. And this is a sign of good health. Uh, it's very important to have a healthy tree when you go to graft because the odds of it taking are very good. Now, what's the next thing we need to do is find a good budwood to graft this mango on. So let's turn around over here and check it out. Our next step for grafting is selecting the right scion. Here I'm holding a terminal bud which is pushing out new growth. This is has a, this has really gone too far for grafting. We can look for another one like this one which is questionable because it's starting to push out already but it hasn't gone as far as the one before. Over here we have one that's more ideal because it hasn't even hasn't even pushed out yet. It's beginning to but it hasn't really gotten there yet. But this is ideal for grafting. This is the one we're going to use. After you've selected the proper scion, uh, we're going to take off about four inches from the top and we're going to cut in right about here. Okay, okay, and we're left with a little little piece of branch and we're going to remove the leaves like so. Carefully to cut your fingers. Boom, 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 boom. And this is how it looks like. This is going to be your future mango tree. Now that we've got our scion ready to go, we have our root stock and uh, our grafting knife. It's very important to use a grafting knife, and if you don't know if you don't know where to get one, just call your local botanical station and ask them. Uh, we're going to do a side veneer graft. Now, there's many different kinds of graft, but today we're going to do a side veneer because it's very simple and very effective. And uh, first thing we've got to do now is cut the scion on the side and the cut pretty much goes like this. Nice smooth cut. Can't go in too deep because uh, it's not necessary. Turn it around like this and just do the same cut. We have a nice smooth cut. Uh, with the, the core mildly exposed and we have cambium layers on both sides right here perfectly nice to each other and we turn around and do like a little little ramp cut here I like to call it ramp cut just remove this little flake and this is our final result right here now that we got our root stock <laughs> right in front of us and we have our budwood or scion ready to go we're going to make the incision here we're going to find a compatible area to place the scion like for example right here it fits like a glove perfect so we're going to make our incision on the seedling and just let's measure it out more or less so we don't go we don't cut too far All right, and we gotta leave a little flap for the ramp. And here we go, it's starting to come along. Now we have our special grafting tape here, which we're gonna use. Take off a good piece right here. We start wrapping from the bottom up. How tight do you, do you do you tie it? As tight as you can. Okay, and you must try to have see, this little green area, the little outline here, is the cambium layer, the green area, and the center part is the core. It's important to have the scion aligned. The, the scion's cambium layer, which is right here on the side, aligned with the cambium layer 
on the rootstock, which is this. So how do you do that? You just scoot it, scoot it over, and place it so it's touching the cambium there. So they're tight together, and that's where they're going to bond and unite and become one and become a, a nice graft. And I'm going to tie it up a little bit here, right underneath the, the terminal bud. I'm going to add an additional tape to cover up the rest because it needs to be completely covered. it like so stretch the tape and a little flap here and that's it uh, 30 days from now you should see some swelling up here and once once the swelling begins uh, just unwrap this unwrap this portion and just leave the the terminal bud exposed so that it can start growing out. Um, make sure to leave this covered though for the first 30 days so that the grafting process can, can develop. And that's it for now. Now that we have a graft done, we're going to move on ahead to some grafts that were, that were done about two months ago so you can see how they look like. Uh, this one right here, like uh, this one right here, as you can see, the the plastic tape was was removed from from above the graft and above the graft, and it started growing. It swelled up and it started growing a new stem from the terminal bud and to something like this, which has been growing for the past two months now since it was unwrapped. And here above we have another one that I brought out so I can show you that is growing very well and very healthy. Uh, a reminder, always the rootstock, when you graft it, it has to look very healthy. There has to be a lot of new growth happening for, for the graft to grow rapidly. Um, once that the terminal bud is swelling and it's grown about, uh, let's say, three inches up, up, above the graft, <clears throat> like this, like, let's say this one, it's a good time to cut and remove or decapitate the seedling. So this, what I just did, what, what, what was done here, was done about a month ago. Let's say 30 days after uh, the removal of the top portion of the tape. So once this, a month from now, when this, when this starts to, to swell, when this starts to, to swell up and grow, I'm gonna cut uh, top. I'm gonna top off a piece over here, like that. So that this can have more more sap flow in order to grow, and once it's grown up to about about let's say this side, which is about six seven inches, um, you can just go ahead and decapitate it up to here, and leave like a little space from here to the graft. And once this has grown another six to eight inches, you just decapitate it completely from over the graft. And the only thing you're going to be left with left with is is this, which is what you want.